you guys welcome back to the channel. Now today we're doing something different. We're here today at Gun Tomaska. And we're gonna be checking out the new Mazda CX. I say much at this point, and I just you know what I'll do instead of talking because when I talk it's going to kind of distract me. And I don't want that. So what I'll do is I'll just voice it over when I when I edit. Alright. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll edit all, a little whatever. You don't have money belt. Go ahead. A little bouncier than the um and the CX fives and the CX nines. Very bouncy. want to do um, I want to see if it shifts before the red line or, or at the red line all right okay. I'm not gonna peel any tires or anything like that yeah. I just want to see see this shift because one of the things that we've been debating is if the transmission is shifting early okay, okay. Um, I notice it's shifting at about six you know five five something six um, so there's some debate. So I just want to clarify that. One guy was saying that this the guy the other guy was saying that what he noticed is up to third gear, it's definitely it's like shifting early. You know, it's like you could feel uh, like uh, the paw wasn't quite there until third gear. So I, it's almost like the, like, like the traction controllers was holding it back, right? a nice song. So tell me something, lady. So what, what has the response been like, you know, from 
from the public? Um, as far as, well, it depends. It depends on uh, the festival you have coming in. Um, for people that are used to BMW and, and uh, you know, those, those, those vans and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they, they, they see it comparable as far as the interior and everything. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people do like the power. Mm -hmm. uh, they're surprised that Monica has something like this. Now, so. um, for the people that are there, because we get both customers, right? So like the Toyotas and the other people. Like, right. For them, it's you know, out of their price range. But they, they say it's, I guess, a little under-promising. Really? If to, be, to be around BMW pricing. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> but I also, that same person that told me that also had a pre-order CX90. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know how much uh, how to take that. You can make this right. Yeah. Kind of looking for a seat. Brakes, really. Oh, the brakes! The brakes should def definitely positive. Mm -hmm. That definitely did not have enough space for me to shift. Wait to shift. So what that says to me is that um, is that right or go straight? Straight. Okay. What that says to me is that this thing definitely has a lot of torque. Definitely. Is this is this the which which engine is this with? Is this the the um the two eighty horsepower or is it the the three? The this is the two eighty. Yeah. Which has <laughs> three twenty two. Wow. Okay. So this is the two eighty and it's behaving this way. This is this is nice. So, this is a continued straightaway, so if you want to try it out. Okay. Let me right. just start with the other song. What have the sales been like on these so far? Um, I don't believe we sold any so far. I mean, oh. they, did, they did come in about two weeks ago. Okay. okay. Yeah, so hasn't even been a full month just as yet. Okay. Um, there's definitely been interest in it though. A couple people have completed it. They've tried to check out what the programs are like on it and everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what's, 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 the, what's the price on this one? If you could. This one it is fifty six eight sixty. Okay. It definitely feels good. Um, it's not it's not as this it's not as firm as you know as you know the, the other models the CX five and the CX nine which yeah. you know which I've actually driven. Um, so I think I think that will appeal to a lot more people. Because um, you know, like the steering is not as heavy as um, as the CX-5, in my opinion, anyway. Um, but I like a heavy steering. Yeah. Like More responsive. Yes. Like when my daughter drives my car, she yeah. complains about how heavy the steering is. But <laughs> and when I drive her car, which is a Camry, yeah. I feel like. I, <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Buick. Uh oh. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, this is gonna take us back to four o'clock. This one here? Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay. It really feels, it, it doesn't feel imposing, you know, it, it, it's a massive vehicle, but it doesn't feel that way, you know, it doesn't feel that way at all. Um, I definitely want her to, to, um, to drive it. I'm going to get back on for a part of one. Hmm? You don't want to drive it? Why? You always do this. You do the same thing with it with the, with the, with the, the CX9 and the, and the 6. What happened? She's so shy. Oh, I look like camera. I'm like camera. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not going to be on camera. That's how she always when I when I bought my my my, my six, mm -hmm. test drove it the six and a CX9. And she she wouldn't she wouldn't go near it. She wouldn't go near either. Yeah, yeah, something like that, something like that. Oh, I just, I just realized that. No, this is fine. No, Normally when I come here, I go to the service department, so yeah. I'm kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix his hip, so. Uh oh. Uh, Separate. Yeah. <laughs> Separate. That you can park it up right here. Mm -hmm. Here's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see.